Hello friends. So this is no rate limit attacks and we will discuss about that uh, all the types and where we can find a no rate limit and how we will report. So each and everything we will show you in this section. Uh, but before this, I hope uh, I already have covered all the basics. So make sure that the previous all the videos you have covered because all those were basic and from here from this section onwards we, we will give you all the live demo sessions so that you can learn each and everything that what what is that attack and how you can mitigate how you can uh, uh, what, what will be the impact and the main thing is that your bounty guys so that's a very uh, very good thing that how you can uh, uh, take all those bounty so uh, we will see that Okay, so the first one is no rate limit attacks concept. Uh, we'll talk about that. No rate limit attacks and we have we have four practicals for this. Then we'll tell you the mitigations and uh, yeah, main thing is that the all uh, hacker one reports that I will show you and no rate limit revision. So these are the things uh, we'll cover in the no rate limit attacks. But uh, yeah, so here is the first thing that what is no rate limit we are talking about that from the last two to three minutes what but what it is so it's a it's a you can say there is no mechanism to protect against the request you made in short frame of time if the repetition doesn't give any error after 50 100 or 1000 event repetition then there will be no rate limit set means let's say let's try to understand with an example let's say there is a website right and you have registered on that uh, that website and i somehow i got to know your email id what i will do i will just uh, go in the forget password page and i will do the forget password page and will write your email id and will uh, capture those requests in the bob suit after that i will send you thousands of lakhs of requests right and you will get those notification right so that shouldn't be happened that shouldn't be happened it should be stopped after 5 to 10 maybe 10 maximum request let's say you have uh, sbi internet banking of any bank whenever you will just uh, click on the otp messages of uh, more than five times six times it will automatically tell you that uh, please come after 24 hours so that's how uh, uh, rate limit works so let me tell you about something the rate limit so really rate limiting is used to control the rate of request sent or received by a network interface control it can be used to prevent dos attack and limit web scrapping for example i just tell you that uh, i can send you thousands of lakhs of uh, you can say uh, uh, emails or even the uh, otp messages so that should be stopped that should be in a limit way and uh, yeah so this is the main thing where you can find these note no rate limit so the first one is on the for forget password page directly you can go there and you can check there registration space uh, in a single in a single time i can register 10 plus emails the 100 plus emails right but it shouldn't be happen at a time only one one person can register one email id but with the same same uh, uh, you can say same uh, sorry with the same username i can make 100 of uh, registration on that uh, website so that should not be happened and otp no rate limit as i told you so these are the things where where we will find uh, out those things and we will also see because no rate limit is very easy and the thing is that you will get 500 to 1000 dollar for that so that's that's one of the important thing i mean if you are an indian you are definitely if you are, if you are getting 40000 for a vulnerability that is that is having only for a 10 minutes then it should be it is very good okay guys so we'll meet in the next video and i will show you the uh, live demo practical